When I was 12, I thought I was attracted to my dad, which is a real problem because when you're a 12 year old, you should not be thinking those things. So I couldn't tell anyone. And then when I was in college, I, I tried to convince myself to commit suicide a couple times, but I didn't because honestly, I would miss my dad. And then I told my mom and she got pissed at me and she's like, I'll tell your dad. And it was this whole circle, so that was really bad. And now I'm trying to convince my boyfriend that we are in a relationship, but we have not spoken yet. To top it all off, every time I look at my cat Quinoa, he seems to love me less and less every day. What are you here for? Um, I just can't get out of bed like five days out of the week. Oh. So. Well, that seems manageable. Uh, no, it's not, I'm not just tired. It's like a deep lethargy within my body from mm -hmm. like the depths of my soul. Like I'm lethargic after like 15 hour naps. They're 15 so. hours, you shouldn't call it a nap. I mean, it's more of like a symptom of something bigger, I'm guessing. Yeah. So I, Evelyn. I mean, I don't know. Well, just stop sleeping so much. Um, you know, you can Google it, it's real. Okay. I wouldn't be here if I, yeah. Good luck with your dad. Thank you. Good day? <gasps> we'll talk about it, I guess. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm having a good day. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I just got a new grill. Yeah. It's cool. I just feel like no one's ever gonna see my photos or worse, understand them. Or worse, understand me. I hear you. You know, I used to feel misunderstood too when I was your age. I tried to tell my parents, you know, I want to do sports like my big brother, but they kept pushing me and pushing me. I wanted to play piano or some other instrument. Cool. Um, I just, I just feel like I never allow myself to belong anywhere, you know? Like, maybe my worth is rooted in the validation of others, maybe. I don't know, I saw it on a Tumblr post and it really like resonated, so. Mm hmm yeah, I, I feel that, you know, my sense of self-worth used to be rooted in the validation of others too. I would hope and hope for some sort of positive reinforcement after every ballet recital, but nothing. Okay, um, I'm black, I'm a woman, I'm at the intersection of multiple marginalized, oppressed identities. And what I'm trying to tell you is that I feel like I'll never understand what it feels like to be on the other side of a systematic disadvantage. You know, before we get started today, uh, I'm actually gonna need you to fill out this termination paperwork because today's our last session. Termination? Nobody told me. I didn't get an email, not a DM, nothing. We actually spoke about it last week after you brought up the grave details of your potential uh, hot Cheetos addiction. Why would you slide in information this important after I talked about something I was so passionate about? Clearly I was not in the headspace to take on important information like this. Okay, I feel that you're upset by this right now, and I'm sorry, and that was inconsiderate of me. You know, I too often feel like if I might be addicted to flaming Cheetos or other snack foods. I feel like you were just getting somewhere, right? You know, Evelyn, you didn't open up to me until after session eight. You don't do your assignments, and... I know that you've been stealing chocolate pudding out of the homeless shelter bins. Wait, first of all, those are for a friend. Second of all, I get money. Money I got. I pay for these sessions all this time, did I not? You know, I used to dabble in poetry too. I went to something called a slam last week. I had no idea this was going on right in my city. Have you heard of this? All right. It's kind of an urban thing. And I just feel like we were just getting somewhere and now it's over, so. I'm sorry, sweetie. Maybe now you can pray about your issue. Mom, when you have patients, do you check their vitals or do you pray about their vitals? First, I check the vitals. The vital is not good. I pray about the vitals. All right, Mom. We... We just have different struggles. Struggles? 
that's foolish. You have everything. You have car, you have grocery, you have cereal, you have okay. spoon and fork. Mom, have... oh, I'm getting a call. Um, that job I was telling you about yes? with the um, health insurance and the 401k. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Tell them you um, I'll, I'll call you back. I'll, I love I'll call you, you back. You don't read. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, that's rubble shade, first of all. <laughs> I am getting my research in, getting my life together, okay? Because I am finally doing my photo series. It's gonna be called Tears, and it's gonna be amazing. So I'm just putting in some work. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Oh, oh, you don't believe me? Wow, haters everywhere. I didn't even say that. You know what? I, I, I've had a long day. My therapist broke up with me. My mom don't care. And to make it worse, I can't get over 13 likes on Instagram, so. I didn't know that, that was, like therapists could break up with people. I, I'm so sorry that you're going through all that. You should really, you should really reconsider rolling up on somebody in a bookstore. Okay, when they're vulnerable, chasing their dreams, trying to do good for themselves, trying to like put in work as you see I'm doing. So I didn't know I was doing all that. I'm very sorry. You a photographer? Yep. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I see your uh, pictures online anywhere? Yeah. Or something? Um, I'll shoot your face. Instagram, like at. I'll shoot your face. Oh, shoot your face. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Now I have a friend who's like a photographer too, so okay. that's cool. Yeah. yeah. He used to be a photographer. He wasn't making any money at it. Oh. He was actually losing money and time and sanity. It's just like dead look in his eyes, like all the time now. Oh, I kept him like quit, just like give up, you know, but he he wanted to be the next famous, like who's a famous photographer? I don't even, you, you probably know all the famous photographers. He wanted to be the next famous photographer and it wasn't until he was like 35 when he finally quit. <sighs> uh, where is he now? Oh, um, he is actually right over there. I see there's just nothing behind his eyes. Um, so your total is 37.45. No! After the day When I was eight, I thought by this age, I'd have a convertible, a boyfriend, a flat stomach at least. But now all I got is student loans and anxiety. Yeah, I know I'm getting old because every day, the number of memes I don't understand is exponentially growing at a rapid rate. I can't believe I've been doing photography for almost six years and all I have to show for it is an Instagram with 150 followers. First of all, you don't do photography. You are a photographer. Am I though? Because no one sees my photos, except you. And my mom, who probably thinks I should give it up and get a master's. Well, then throw an exhibit. Throw a what? Have an art show or whatever. With what photos? The ones on Instagram? You have thousands of photos on your laptop right no, now. Hell no, that's done. See, you know what your problem is? Your problem is, you're a fucking chick. <laughs> well, then you throw an exhibit, if you're so brave.